What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this Thursday, September 8th, 2022 date. It is about uh, about noon here along the west coast. Supposed to be 112 degrees again today here in my neck of the woods. Latest earthquake shows a 1.6 earthquake here into the region of Southern California. We have seen quite a bit of uptick here around the Fiji Islands, Kermadec Trench. Look at all that deep earthquake movement here happening overnight and this morning time frame. A lot going on down there in that area of the plate boundaries. Here's the latest uh, map here from the USGS showing the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. There's that cluster of earthquake movement here. Uh, into the Tonga Trench, the Kermadec Trench. Again, some of this activity stretching down there close to 600 kilometers below the surface there. So we're getting the recycling, so to speak, here of some uh, earthquake activity. And most of the time when we see this activity ramp up here, uh, we're looking at a pretty large push of earthquake activity westward. And uh, also got to watch this area up here along the, Cur the uh, Japan Trench and the Kurokamchaka Trench. All these trenches up here along the Pacific Ring of Fire here along the uh, Philippine Plate as well. Uh, just a matter of time before these things, um, this little pressure gradient here starts to really kick up considering all the deep activity overnight. Uh, so what do we got for uh, recent activity here in this area of the world? Um, not a whole lot of new stuff. All this activity kind of that we're seeing here along the Java Trench, uh, the Philippines area. Uh, is prior to all this deeper movement that we've seen uh, into this Fiji Islands area. So again, we got to watch this region pretty closely, uh, considering the um, the deep activity that we've seen in Fiji. Uh, Hawaii did have some activity overnight as well, kind of on to well, yeah, I'd call it earlier this morning, much earlier. Uh, they've seen a 4.0 earthquake into the or 4.2, I should say, into the Pahala area. This is a region that has been swarming for quite some time. Definitely kicking off pretty nicely today with about 26 earthquakes or so within this area on the map. Uh, no renewed, uh, or I should say no new activity to report at any of the volcanoes. Kilauea is still continuing uh, to erupt, but confined to the lava lake, a lava crater area. The west coast area looks like uh, things kind of kicking up a little bit here in the last hour, some small microquakes. Uh, into the San Jacinto Fault Zone and north of the Garlock Fault Shear Zone here. It looks like around the White Wolf Fault Zone. Here is the 2.5 and above map. Um, this Most of this activity from yesterday. We did have one this morning time frame, a 2.7 uh, just outside of the uh, San, uh, San Juan Batista area along the San Andreas Fault. The, uh, looks like the Santa Cruz Mountains section. But uh, most of the activity today into the microquake department. Not a whole lot of large scale activity to report here in California. One earthquake down here in the Salton Sea area at a 1.8 magnitude. Uh, some activity up into the state of Washington today. Looks like outside of the Seattle area, northwest of there, seen a 3.7 at 23 kilometers. Now, this is uh, in the red. Uh, because it looks like it was felt by a broad area, a broad population. A lot of folks uh, reported feeling this earthquake. So that will be in the red category. Even though it was a 3.7, the amount of responses here around the Seattle area and uh, northwestern Washington is pretty great. So 3.7, even at 22 kilometers deep, 23 kilometers deep, uh, a lot of folks did report feeling that earthquake up there. Uh, just outside of Seattle. Um, not for certain which fault system this struck on here. It is somewhat deep. Um, not for certain though if it's down into the Cascadia subduction zone. It appears to be just up there a little bit uh, above that level. Uh, doesn't look like it's on the Seattle fault. That's much further south. But uh, again, not for certain which fault system that struck on have to get back to that here in a little bit. Uh, some microquakes around Mount St. Helens, Mount Rainier, um, just south of there around Highway 12. It looks like a couple small quakes there in the uh, Packwood, Washington area. 
Uh, let's see what else we got. Yellowstone National Park. And notice a few quakes here on the map. Listing about 11 earthquakes or so. Uh, nothing above 2.5. All microquakes and mostly confined here uh, to the, uh, kind of looks like around the Masson River area, Purple Mountain. Roaring Mountain area. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview here of the region. And um, let's see what we got. Looks like uh, there's some of those earthquakes being reported here in the uh, vicinity of this seismograph station. It's pretty localized here, the epicenters that is. Notice these spikes indicating uh, some very localized earthquake activity. And not for sure what this is down here again. Uh, let's see if that is showing up. It is kind of showing up on... See, it's hard to tell. We're getting just these weird... I'm not for sure if there's wind events going on up there. Uh, sometime, let's just go ahead and check that out real quick. See what we got for weather-wise. Might be thunderstorms. I don't know. Um, it could be heavy uh, wind. You know, lots of wind. I don't know. We'll see. What we got going off here? A little hurricane. There's Southern California's uh, hurricane. Won't be a hurricane by the time it gets up there. But uh, either way, uh, those guys are going to get a lot of rainfall. So wind up here, wind gust. Uh, wow, I definitely got some big wind gusts up there, up to 50 miles per hour gusting throughout the Yellowstone area. Uh, and that could have um, an effect on seismograph stations there. We've seen it a lot, you know, so we can't say that this is something else. Uh, when, when we see that type of activity, the weather does play a part in the uh, seismograph readings. Um, looks like it's from the west here. Let's see what we got for uh, thunderstorms. And looks like they're having thunderstorms there too. Notice, uh, yeah. So um, that could definitely be, uh, I'm 99% certain that's exactly what we're seeing there on the map. And it comes in around the late afternoon time frame. Early afternoon sometimes here for this area. And uh, weather related events there showing up on the seismograph stations. This area, that is. These are earthquakes for sure. This here, weather, environmental uh, interference there. All right, so back out of here and see what we got. Uh, Cedar, Utah, still seeing some activity up against the mountain ranges. Oklahoma, a little bit of scattered activity out there as well. Uh, one earthquake there from yesterday in the Missouri area. That's close to the New Madrid zone. Eastern portion of the state's all super quiet. Puerto Rico. Not a whole lot going on there today. Um, about 19 earthquakes, most of it in the little swarming fashion here. Southwestern edge here of Puerto Rico, but uh, no major activity to report. South America, quiet. Not a whole lot showing on for the 4.0 and above areas. All right, let's check out the uh, space weather event here real quick. Just going to make this a real quick morning up or afternoon update. Uh, things tapering off there. If you can't see there, going down into the yellow and to the green. Aurora forecast looking a little bit more less active compared to yesterday. We're still seeing some KP index up there around the three level right now. But uh, solar flares and solar sunspots, only a 50% chance of a sea flare. Uh, the latest imagery, let's see what it looks like, still shows um, a little bit of rapid developing over here off of this sunspot and a newly it looks like another newly uh, developing one here just a little bit further to the uh, the eastern limb of the sun there uh, I can't say any of these things pose any uh, credible threat for any type of um, even even like a moderate flare uh, we'll be lucky if we get any sea flares from these uh, sunspots looking at the past uh, 24 hours here, or this is a three-day map to pass 24 hours here in this category. It looks like we had a little bit of low-grade sea flares kicking up, but nothing in the inflare category in the past three days. In fact, uh, last seven days, uh, that was back in the uh, September 5th time frame when we, when we seen the uh, last inflare. So entering into a little period of quietness right now folks and um, you know it's 
It can't be super active all the time, right? But, man, we, I would love to see some awesome sunspots create, uh, you know, at least a couple X flares. And they better be Earth directed if that happens. But we'll see. We're still uh, kind of advancing towards the solar maximum here in uh, 2025, around June time frame. So we got a couple years to go before we reach that peak level. So it's only going to go up from here. All right, guys, have a good day. We'll chat to you a little bit later on. Uh, and again, we're going to be doing a, uh, a giveaway here for the uh, channel members. We do that every month. Uh, last month was a uh, $40 Amazon gift card, and the week, uh, month before was a $50 Visa card. Uh, this time around, we're going to be giving away some Earthmaster merchandise. So we're going to mix it up a little bit. Um, you know, giving away a $50, $40, whatever it is, uh, gift card every month. It's kind of cool. People definitely can use it. Uh, but this time we're going to switch it up and um, give away some Earthmaster merchandise for the drawings of the members here on the channel. So if you want to be automatically entered into that drawing, make sure you become a channel member here. And uh, we're getting a few folks up there. Getting, uh, you know, a pretty good count of some folks. But the odds of winning are still pretty high compared to a uh, overall channel giveaway uh, where we got uh, you know quite the entry here with uh, almost 78,000 subscribers woohoo kind of inching up towards the uh, 80,000 mark here real soon all right guys have a good day we'll chat you again later tonight and uh, we'll do a little bit more um, chat on the announcement of uh, when that drawing will be held here for the uh, members of the channel so we'll chat you guys a little bit later have a good day everyone peace out